this is what I mean. This whole structure is is buried, is really solidly anchored by by this way of building. You see, I don't I don't really think we need those concrete anchors. You know, you see the way if we fill down with gravel, how the whole structure is anchored in the gravel. Mm. It's not going to move. Mm. Look at all. When we backfill with the gravel, look at how much gravel is on top of those rails, right? Yeah, not gravel on top of the rail on on those beam rails. Wow, that's that's plenty of weight and anchor. I don't see why we need to have another uh, footing. You know, mm. another footing. Yeah, th those ones that Tim said we should do. I, I I think that that's just a you know. Oh yeah, I, that should be enough. You know, enough load yeah. on the whole structure. Look at this. So we're anchored, right? The way yeah. that we backfill. Yeah. We're, we're anchoring the whole structure in the ground. That's right. No, no, we bury it. Yeah. Yeah, we bury it. So oh, in nowhere. case you don't need to look for those kind of. Uh, yeah, anchor. nowhere to go. Thing you know. So we could get a frame right in there. Yeah, yeah. Once you fill up to that level, yeah. You then you start with the frame construction. Yeah. Then you do, then you do the 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 retaining wall. Yeah. This, this block wall. Yeah. And, and and you're doing it right on top of the frame. The frame. That's construction. right. Yeah. You're just you're continuing with the build. Yeah. And the last thing goes on is the cover. Yeah cover system goes on that's know? right and, yeah you know then you're doing the wall you're doing the door yeah system, and then you finally do the cover that's right yeah and i think we put in the bubble machine yeah. before we put the cover on that's you right know, we, we do basically everything and then the cover comes down over yeah everything yeah okay Right. Yeah, that's neat. Now, now the cover comes down to this level, and you know this level. Remember how we did the upper level when when we did the tall structure. Yeah. You know, cover details that would look like a bit like an umbrella. Yeah. This is, it could be the same concept here. You know. Yes. We we have the bottom of the panel here, right at this uh, plywood, um, you know, um, plywood uh, support. Yeah. And and the outer the outer sheet comes down, you know, over top of everything. Yeah. So it's it looks really nice, you know, from the outside. Yeah. It's like a little overhang. Yeah. You, you see, because it's overhanging the block wall. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's that's how we finish the outside skin. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And yeah. the rope edge, the outside skin, we can tie it to to the block, you know, wall. Mm. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. That's kind of the anchor, the plywood and and the and the block wall. Mm -hmm. That's holding down the skin, outside skin. Yeah. Outside skin can kind of fold underneath the the plywood. Yeah. I, I what I see is the block wall and then the plywood and then the insulation mm. and then the, and then mm. the bubble, ca bubble cavity mm. okay. right these are the la layers yeah um, yeah and then the outside skin comes down passes the in passes the purple insulation yeah wraps or wraps under the plywood. Yeah, with with a rope edge that we t we can tie it to the yeah. plywood. Yeah, mm. under underneath the plywood. Okay. Yeah, let let's do that. Let's do a cross section looking at the block wall and the plywood in the outside skin, because we've been thinking. <coughs> Oh, the inside skin, but if we we look at the uh, 
the detail of the outside skin. Yeah, cross section. There. <coughs> okay, and we go, yeah, that's it. Look at the outside, come in close. And tilt it so we see where the outside, yeah, that's it. So the outside skin has, you know, the that's the corner of the bubble cavity, right? It's, it's the, uh, where... Okay, so the block wall, or the block needs to be um, pushed Lower. down. Yeah. Trim. Yeah. Yeah. Pushed down. yeah. yeah. It, it can go down uh, all because we moved it up. That's why. Yeah. Remember, we moved it up so it would yeah. go over top of the rail. Uh, so what we could do is move. No, let's move the skin up. Let's move the, the purple up, right? Because we moved, we moved the block up so we wouldn't have the interference with the with the rail, we go over top the rail. And 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 now we can move the the purple up further. <laughs> I'm <That's>, sorry. <laughs> that's another, tough. <laughs> another change. One more change. Oh, that's not easy to, to do again. Maybe no, less don't worry that, about it. You know what I mean, right? So yeah. you, know, you you can do that change before we do all the rest of it. But, but just before, don't even worry about that. So just ignore the fact that the block is inside the cavity now. But let's just look at the outside skin to see what those details would be. Yeah, come, come back to that same view when we saw the block and we won't worry about the block, you know. So don't, don't you know, let's just look at that again that cross section. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's come in close. Okay, ignoring the problem with the blob, just looking at the outside skin. Yeah, let, let me show you. Yeah, that that corner where where? Yeah, that corner is the inside. Yeah, right there. That that's the inside corner of the bubble cavity, right? Mm -hmm. that's the bubble cavity, right? I mean, we know it's going to be higher. Okay, we're, you're going to move it up higher everything. But that is the corner. And from mm -hmm. there, the outside skin continues downward. Okay, mm -hmm. you know the, the the panel, yeah, the the fabric panel. And what it does, it continues down, and it wraps underneath the plywood. Yeah, it turns right there, and and this way. yeah, yeah, that's it. Come and we can put the rope edge. You know, it's like a wrap around the corner. And then we can put the flat bar, hold the rope edge underneath the, the overhang mm -hmm. you know sometimes we we're putting the flat bar on the outside like you know sort of edge but it might be better to wrap it around under and put the flat bar under the the bottom of the plywood yeah you see go in very tight and we can draw the line the line go zoom right in, zoom close in on on that corner. So the rope and yeah, keep uh, keep here, the same. Yeah, and that's go right. inside. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and it doesn't go far. Right? The flat bar to. Yeah, it doesn't have to go very far because we're yeah. going to put the flat bar. You know, it can be the relatively bar is, is here. Yeah, relatively close to the edge, maybe maybe a little more inward than that. Yeah, because you know then yeah okay. Somewhere around there is where the flat bar is fastened and the rope edge, you know, is on the other side of the flat bar, right? Mm -hmm. And and so that would be a very neat way, right? The the whole uh, fastening is hidden practically. So there is two layers. One is the purple foam and the other is the plywood. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The, the plywood is is where we fasten the um, the flat bar, right? Yeah. And the, the foam is on top of the plywood, and then the bubble cavity. Yeah. And the fabric sitting on the um, on the uh, on the insulation on the plastic foam, the foam insulation. Right. So. And okay. and you know the the skin <clears throat> will cover everything, right? So you won't see the plywood, you won't see the purple foam, because the, yeah, it's wrapped. the edge of the fabric there can be uh, opaque. 
Yeah. Okay. Fabric. Yeah. You know, where we do the rope edge, it's it's nice to have a material that's uh, stronger than the transparent yeah. fabric. Yeah. Yeah. So um Yeah. So th this means that, you know, for the 2D 2D plan, we didn't change the physical structure, right? We didn't no. change anything to do with the metal. Yeah. Once we know exactly where the bottom of the bubble cavity is, right? That means this block wall. Once we get that settled, um, then we can do the finalization of the bottom of the bubble cavity. Mm -hmm. And none of the other details are changing of the bubble cavity, just that we've uh, pushed it up like this, you know, and created less, less, uh, you know, depth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The blocks. Why? Why we have to move things up? We we can just lower the block, no? Um, yeah. Well, we were sort of thinking the blocks sit on the on the you know the um, on the U channel. The channel. Oh, there. I see. Holding the. Yeah, and you know it doesn't like we could make this knee wall even higher, right? Because it's still close to the ground, right? It's only it's less than a foot off the ground. So so the knee wall could go even higher, but knee wall costs money and, and our and our bubble cavity costs less. You yeah. Know, really yeah. 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 So three blocks is high enough and it gets above the gravel fill and it gets us a little bit above the ground. Mm hmm. You know, like eight inches, maybe something like that. Because the two blocks is 16, yeah, and we have 18 inches of fill. So you see where we have it right now, the bottom of the bubble cavity is almost at grade. It's only slightly above the actual grade. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's still about as cheap as we can do this, really. Mm -hmm. So the plywood is this side, like Q form? Cuneiform. I would. It's just. A yeah. It's just like. It's just like the purple. Just yeah, do another. Just, yeah, yeah. No. Just use the purple and make another. Yeah. Uh, like copy the purple downward yeah. and then make it a little thinner. So we've got one inch of uh, foam insulation, but let's give the plywood half an inch. You know. Or so. Yeah, half inch. It could be so, half inch. Why don't we make a cuneiform plywood to make the bottom surface flat? Oh, like this? Because we want the liquids to drain toward the center, the inside. There's a purpose for that slope, that the liquids come inward. In right? In the out, outside liquid. Well, like there's the no, rain? no, the rain goes into the gravel. No, I'm talking about the soap liquid inside the cavity. We yeah, the inside is slope. Yeah, but we make another piece like Ooh, triangle. This is hard, or... hard to do. <laughs> is that hard? Yeah, what? it's hard. You know, yeah. how do you do that? <laughs> oh, I mean, just use one piece of two by six, two by ten, and the cut. Oh, that's tough. An angle. Maybe. That's that's hard. No, no, forget about that. No, that we don't have to. Do that. <laughs> Why the plywood is sitting on top yeah. of the block, and we just need a wedge. Yeah, wedge to to you know to hold. Wedge. Yeah, yeah. To keep oh. to hold the slope, right? Yeah, and, the same and, slope. And we anchor into the block like some concrete. Yeah. Um. Bill. Yeah. Don't you think it's kind of a oh, okay? Okay. Kind of an anchor, and and we can anchor the plywood to the concrete, and then we put the foam on top of that. And if there's any kind of uh, yeah, you know, <clears throat> the head of the nut or anything, well, it's it's in the foam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one inch foam and half inch plywood. Right. Yeah. 
and and the plywood is um, is sitting on the inside edge of the block, right? It's going to rest inside, on yeah, yeah right yeah. there, and it's going to follow the radius uh, during yeah. you know, the ninety degrees to the, to the outside skin. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're we're perfectionists, but at least <laughs> when we build it, when we build it, we won't say whoops and whoops. We'll we'll say, oh wow, isn't it perfect? <laughs> ah, that's interesting. See the block almost interfere with the uh, flat angle. See, but but they don't. Look at that. When the blocks come together at the corner. We we have they see they don't oh yeah they don't interfere with anything no with with no. the uh, structure yeah no with the met with the metal structure yeah oh, okay looks good the plywood can be cut around the the uh, channel on the flat bar. You know, the green flat bar looks like, you know, it should have like a cutout for the plywood. Mm. And the plywood can come yeah. against one against the other, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only interference I see. Yeah. Mm. Just the, cut a little bit. Slot, the... like a slot. You know? Yeah, slot, yeah. Mm. All right, I think we're uh, we've got the we've got the design for all the work to do the site preparation, the gravel, the retaining wall, the base plate for the bubble cavity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's call it something like base plate, right? Because it's the it's the base or bottom of the bubble cavity, and it's kind of a you yeah. know platform. Yeah platform so that that is really good you know because the bubble cavity you know being fabric right it needs a structure around it so yeah thing. it needs, needs the right uh, support so it doesn't flop around 